The oceans are some of the most mysterious parts of our planet. We've spent hundreds of years researching ancient civilizations, prehistoric creatures, and various aspects of history that have been lost to time. However, we don't know much about our oceans or the animals that live there. Some of these animals were far larger than any land animal we've ever discovered, and many of them lived thousands, maybe even millions of years ago. Let's take a look at some of the most incredible deep-sea creatures to have ever lived. Before we get started, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Megalodon Let's start it off with one of the most popular deep-sea creatures that I'm sure most of us are already familiar with. The Megalodon. The Megalodon was a huge species of shark, but it's difficult to explain just how massive this fish really was. This species is believed to have gone extinct sometime around 3 million years ago, so it's unlikely that these sharks ever coexisted with humans, though it's definitely still possible. What's interesting about these monsters is that they are often lumped into the same batch of animals like dinosaurs. If you believe the timeline that science has set forth about the life and death of dinosaurs, we could assume that dinosaurs most likely died off around 65 million years ago. That means that these sharks would have lived more than 60 million years after the final dinosaur passed away. These sharks were ridiculously huge. They measured between 14 and 16 meters long, making them much longer than your average school bus. They're closely related to the great white shark, though these guys are obviously much bigger and far more ferocious. If you thought the movie Jaws was creepy, just imagine seeing one of these beasts floating around next to your boat. Liopleurodon What's truly incredible about the Liopleurodon is that we've discovered full, intact Liopleurodon skeletons. They've been propped up in museums around the world, giving us a shocking, accurate look at how big these Dinosaur Age monsters would have been. There's a lot of debate about how long the Liopleurodon would be if it were alive today. Some scientists claim it could be as large as 50 feet, but others say it may be much closer to 20 feet. Either way, this was a big boy that would be more than happy to eat you as an afternoon snack. Some scientists estimate that at least 20% of the Liopleurodon's length was in its head that was filled with razor-sharp teeth that could tear through flesh without a second glance. These dinosaurs were first documented in 1873 when they were discovered by Henri Sauvage. Some of the smaller examples of a Liopleurodon would be about three times the length of a human. But we have reason to believe that in the right circumstances, they could grow substantially larger in their adult life. What's really odd about these animals is that they would have looked just like your average dinosaur, tail and all, though they had fins instead of feet. Aside from their fins, it would be hard to tell a Liopleurodon from any other basic dinosaur. They're truly a remarkable beast. Basilosaurus This is yet another prehistoric animal that could devour you without even trying. The Basilosaurus was believed to have lived between 41 and 33 million years ago. The problem with these animals is that researchers had a difficult time classifying them as prehistoric whales rather than snakes. That's because these behemoths are far, far longer than your average whale, and most of their length is in their tail. They dwarf modern whales and would have been one of the largest sea creatures to ever live. Fossils of the Basilosaurus were not found until 1904 in North Africa. They were also found in Egypt, Jordan, and Tunisia, just to name a few. Though it may shock you to know that we found evidence of them as far south as Antarctica. What's really creepy is that these whale-like dinosaurs would have been super common in the prehistoric era. 
maybe even as common as a bass or a catfish these days. It was an apex predator, meaning there was virtually nothing in the ocean that would dare hunt a Bacillosaurus. These guys were at the top of the food chain and would eat anything and everything in their path. Though scientists recently made a pretty shocking discovery. As terrifying as this monstrosity of a dinosaur may be, they were actually pretty dumb. I won't pretend to understand the specifics about how the scientists figured this out, but they theorized that the Bacillosaurus would have only been capable of traveling in two dimensions. This means they would never intentionally dive or rise to the surface. They would only move forward, backward, left, or right. They're considered one of the dumbest dinosaurs to ever live, so it's pretty strange that they managed to survive and thrive on Earth for more than 10 million years. Gecolopterus Ever heard of a sea scorpion? Me either, until now. These terrifying animals were once swimming all around the depths of the ocean. They had armored shells and looked very similar to a modern scorpion. They're one of the largest arthropods to have ever lived, and some of them would grow to be over 8 feet long. If you thought giant hornets or killer crabs were scary, these guys will send you straight to the morgue. They were vicious and had tails that look almost identical to a modern scorpion, though we don't have any reason to believe they were venomous. Thankfully, a sea scorpion attacking a human would be extremely rare. But who knows? Stranger things have happened. Even though we've found complete fossils of these creepy crawlers, they would have gone extinct millions of years before the dinosaurs. So to say they were prehistoric would be a gross understatement. While none of them remain today, their distant ancestor is believed to be the horseshoe crab, though these guys would rarely ever hurt a fly. Mauisaurus These sea dwellers would have been closely related to the plesiosaur. They were huge dinosaurs that would have strictly lived in the water, much like the Leopleurodon. We don't know too much about them, but we know they had at least 68 vertebrae and would have grown to be at least 26 feet long, making them one of the largest plesiosaurs in existence. They had two sets of flippers that would have helped them to swim at breakneck speeds underwater. They were much braver than many of the other sea dwellers and would make their way near the shoreline pretty often. They were carnivores that would eat fish or squid, so it's unlikely they'd ever eat a human. But we can't be too sure. Luckily, they died off long before humans were around. We have found the bones and remains of these monsters all around New Zealand. One of the more interesting fossils shows us how a Mauisaurus attacked a Mosasaur, yet another form of an extinct dinosaur. These dinosaurs were given their name after the New Zealand demigod Maui. Maui is said to have raised New Zealand from the depths of the ocean, using nothing more than a fish hook. Needless to say, if they were named after a demigod like that, they're probably going to be a pretty huge animal. Even though we don't know too much about them, they're expected to be one of the largest aquatic animals in New Zealand at the time. Dunkleosteus These animals may not look similar to a shark, but they would have had similar characteristics. These fish would have gone extinct about 350 million years ago, so they've been gone for a very, very long time. What's interesting is that they didn't have teeth. Instead, they had flat, plate-like ridges in their mouths that they would have used similarly to teeth, much like a turtle. There are many different varieties of Dunkleosteus, but the most common ones would have been around 10 to 15 feet long, though some measured almost 30 feet. They were carnivores, so they would eat their fellow fish any chance they had. They would also attack sharks, as they would usually be much larger than your average shark. Some researchers say that they would have had a bite force that would have been over 8,000 pounds per square inch. If this is true, it means they would have been as powerful as a T-Rex or a modern crocodile.
According to some of the musculature that has been found in the skulls of fossils or preserved bones, we also have reason to believe they would have been able to open and close their mouths in as little as one fifteenth of a second. That's ridiculously fast. If you spotted one of these guys in the wild, he could have already bitten you over a dozen times before you'd even have a chance to react. Though, scientists claim that they would have most likely vacuumed their food through their mouths rather than chomping it like a dinosaur. The plates that would have taken place of teeth would also begin to change over time, forming rigid sections that would make it very easy to hold prey in their jaws. This would also make them far more powerful, increasing the devastation of their bites and helping them to easily chomp down on anything they may want to eat. They were also armored, with bone covering almost every square inch of their bodies. These guys were virtually indestructible. Giant Stingray what sets this fish apart from others on this list is that it's still around to this day and poses a serious threat to anything in its path. The giant stingray has been around for a very long time and it still swings around the freshwater areas of Australia. Imagine that. Australia is the home to a gigantic animal. Who would have thought? These huge stingrays measure about 17 feet wide and have 10-inch poison spikes in their tails that are strong enough to pull the weight of several humans with ease. These fish are believed to have lived on Earth since prehistoric times and would have outlived dinosaurs by millions of years. Some researchers say these creatures would have descended from sharks, but we don't know that for sure. These guys were so resilient and defensive that they managed to survive several ice ages and other catastrophic events that completely changed the climate on the planet. I have no idea how they managed to do it, but these guys were literal tanks that would take anything thrown at them and continue living against all odds. What makes them even more fearsome is that their tails have spikes that are filled with a neurotoxin that will kill you almost instantly. They can also stab you straight through your limbs without any effort whatsoever. These guys are more than just deadly. They're ridiculously strong and have eyes set to kill. Loch Ness Monster no, this isn't about the mythical Loch Ness Monster that likely never existed. Instead, it's about a creature that was found in 2009 that many searchers claim could have been from the prehistoric era of aquatic animals. This impressive animal was found in Alberta, Canada and looks just like a long-necked plesiosaur, though it seems pretty unlikely that it was actually related to dinosaurs, though it's definitely possible. Researchers believe this animal most likely lived underwater for its entire life and would have grown to be the size of your average car, far smaller than many of the other animals on this list. Though it is still huge in the overall scale of things, the problem is that this specific specimen was not fully grown when it died so we have no way to know just how big it may have gotten. Similar animals have been discovered that measured more than 50 feet long, but we have no way to know if this animal would have grown that large or not. If this is true, they could have grown to be the size of an average school bus, maybe even bigger. We just don't know for sure. Thanks so much for watching. Let us know which of these animals you found to be the most terrifying. Also, let us know if you know about any other creepy animals we didn't mention on the list. Your suggestions may find their way into a future video. Before you go, be sure to hit that like button and ring the notification bell for more videos.